Finalmente o pegamos. O brasileiro Roberto Carlos. Finalmente pegamos. O brasileiro Roberto Carlos and what's up, boys, and welcome to the player moments. Alexandro, and I can't believe I'm saying that because this card, along with the Kolarov uh, to midfield card, finally, I think, firmly establishes the Serie A as a viable, viable league in FIFA 20. I know it's kind of crazy that I'm saying that, uh, saying that all the way in almost mid-March in 2020, but uh, those two pieces of the puzzle were huge pieces that were missing. We've got okay, we've got OK keepers in the form of that 87 Dona and the 87 Woj. Uh, we've got the 87 Juan Jesus. We've got Caceres. We've got a couple other players. In terms of right back, we have Malquit. Um, if you guys did that footmas card, we could use another right back in the Serie A, 100%. Uh, and then midfielders galore, Barella, Tonali. Whether you want the uh, whether you want the league SPC version or the future stars card, um, I'm thinking off the top of my head, Alan among others, Milinkovic Savic. If you went ahead and did the uh, got the XP for that, uh, and then attackers, there is no shortage. You have to rely a little bit on some uh, some SPC luck. Whether or not you did the Alexis Sanchez, um, maybe you got the Chucky Lozano strikers. We've got some pretty good ones as well. But I, I still would say the one part of the Serie A that's missing is like a beast beast striker that's not as expensive as Ronaldo even though right now on Xbox uh, and PS he's about 500 600k so he's come crashing down a little bit with all the special cards that we have coming out so uh today's episodia is all about this player moments Alexandro uh cue the film music if you guys do enjoy the epis if you guys are enjoying these uh episodias drop a like on the video drop a mad lad like don't know why I said both those things twice just there if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below and let's just as PewDiePie and some of the other guys on YouTube say Let's just jump right into it. So, uh, it's a 91 rated card. 375 to 400,000 coins is what the cost is right now. The most beautiful part of this SPC, there's no expiry. So, you can grind towards this. This is kind of making up, I think, a little bit for icon swaps. Uh, uh, sorry, icon SPCs. We have a couple of these player moments. Alexandro, um, among others who... Uh, sorry, Alexandro... Who was I trying to say? Eden Hazard, uh, for example, uh, some some of these player moments cards that are uh, just grindable towards the end of the game. So, what do you get with this card? You get easily the best wing back in Serie A period, especially in terms of rating. 88 acceleration, 93 sprint speed. Uh, you get some 75 attacking positioning. The finishing is kind of trash. Um, and then you get some pretty decent passing stats. 90 short passing. I love the 87 curve. You guys know that's one of my favorite stats. Uh, one of my favorite non-meta stats this year. Uh, agility for days. 84 agility, 83 balance. I say agility for days for a wing back 91 reactions 88 ball control 87 dribbling 89 composure um and then what is going on here stephanie the absolute audacity of you you ignore me for an entire week after a week of good conversation and then you come out at the blue on a sunday talking to me about hey sorry for not getting back to you the audacity we've got the defending stats which are next level dude the defending stats are actually freaking next level 94, okay, this is with the anchor. 94, 97, 99, and then 99. I dare I say it, this card I feel like needs to be played somewhere else. It, I mean, like, look, if you want to lock down that left side, you're, you're going to do it with this card. 97 jumping, 99 stamina, 99 aggression, and then freaking uh, 91 strength. Absolute scenes. Uh, of course, there's only one player you can link him into, and that's the Juan Jesus upgraded. We've got a couple of the other Serie A squad boys up here. We've got Caceres, who we're going to be running it right back. we got Chiqui Nandos. Um, as a matter of fact, I wonder if Nandos is the guy that we toss out there. Yeah. All right, first thing we want to see. Oh, he's got the red boots, too. Look at Jesus. Jesus and Alexandro, bro. Hold on, let me see. How's the dribbling feel? Yeah, he feels good on the ball. No. I love a wing back that I, I love a good wing back that can actually join up in the attack, but is also ridiculous like no no defensive stats missing from his defending you know what i mean like some of these uh some of these attacking wing backs like are you know have the, like the 82 the 83 they're lacking in something and again look you're coming you there we go alexandro you guys know that i'm one of those guys that doesn't like to splurge on uh, on wing backs but i mean this card genuinely will start for you even through team of the season 
Like, I, I don't know what would have to come out. Maybe four star weak foot, four, uh, four star weak foot, four star skill move version or something like that. Sandro. Obligados a batur. Hay peligro en el pase, ojo. Ojo con este pase y ahora. Florenzi. Gol. O brasileiro Roberto Carlos. Fernando Muslera, that might be the if he's if he's not given a red, that's the play of the game right there. Yeah, of course he's given the yellow. Damn, dude. Oh, come on. Come on, how is that on the ground? Sandra, the tag team. Brazilian tag team of dreams. Cuidado que puede terminar en gol. Cuidado con el que puede ser. Gol. Pegó en el travesaño y entró. Alexander Kolarov. Están dominando la pelota, pero ojo, no sé si con esto pueden dominar el partido. Mucho pa. Se acercarán al rival. Gol. Impresionante. Se tira por el costado Alexis. Uh, that's a tough loss right there. I had nothing to do with Alexandro. I had everything to do with me just playing like an absolute shit horse. 8.5 for Alexandro. Tackles one three. Dude, he he did he did literally everything. The Brazilian boys did everything we asked of them. Three out of three, five out of five for Gabriel Jesus, uh, for Alexandro and, and Juan Jesus respectively. Did you see how the ball actually suctioned into his legs? You shit! Yes, Chef, I am. You are so shit. Sometimes it's unbelievable. I love this game. I love this game. <laughs> Cheek spreaders. Sisoko. Ahí se viene la ventana. Sandro. Finally! It feels like it was the first goal that we've scored in like 90 matches. And of course it comes up against a guy named Cheek Spreaders. The absolute cheek of him to suggest that he would. The absolute cheek of him to suggest that he could. I'm just going to stop right there. Freddy Nestrosa. Ahí va Alexis. Cuidado que puede terminar en gol. Is there, is there something about division rivals that I'm missing? I've scored, what, one or two goals in three matches played? Is there a reason that rivals is super, super sweaty right now and I'm playing guys named Cheek Spreaders? I'm gonna, oh my god! I love this game! If this is offside. There we go! Jesus! Literally, uh, literally Juan Jesus. I thought I was losing my mind there, boys. I, this entire episode, I think I've been losing my mind. This, today, the gameplay feels weird. I, I don't complain too much about gameplay, but today, posts, and I don't know if it's in my head, maybe it's just this session. I mean, 
I woke up literally. Maybe I need more Conte coffee. Salah. That's Mohamed Salah. That's Sandro making light work of Mohamed Salah, boys. For me, when I evaluate my wingbacks, I ask myself one question. Does he feel like... Does he feel like Mbabu in game? Does he do everything that Mbabu does? And the answer with this 91 Alexandro? Gonna have to say yes. He's got that entire left side shut down. I know we haven't had dominant performances. The gameplay has been utter trash today. <sighs> you know, even in a losing effort, his Van Dyke, and that, that's just frustration, and he's getting out of here. El Mago. El Mago 305. I don't know, dude. This guy, uh, you really gonna quit in the 89th minute and not collect your 300? He's, he's literally not gonna collect his 300 rivals points, and he's gonna let me use the goal, the, the Rage Quit soundtrack. So we get three goals from Frank Ribery in the final match. We get dribbles completed, eight out of eight. Uh, tackles won, one out of two. So he literally, across three matches played, I think that's something like only one missed tackle. Um... For the first match, we were a little bit exposed because I unknowingly had Alexandro as join the attack, which I didn't mean to do. Uh, but ever since we switched that up, he's been absolutely dominant. Um, uh, has the pace, has the strength, specifically has the strength. And then also the interceptions, one thing you notice, his legs and just whatever his body type is, um, overextends and just makes the plays. Makes those interceptions when you need them. Uh, and then also just does a nice little bit of tackling. So overall, I would say a very, very nice card. And the biggest part of this, and it's very it's it's very easy to recommend it because this has no expiry date this this spc legitimately does not expire in terms of value it's tough for me not to give it anything other than a four and a half out of five because it does stay here till the end of fifa i mean like how can you give this how can you give this bad value when it's 300 and, it's about 370 380 thousand coins how can you give it bad value given that it is here towards the end of the game you can grind towards it you can get it in a week you can get it right now if you have the uh if you have the untradeables and players or coins that you would want to get the card or you can get it at the end of the game or you can get it in a month or two months or whatnot and it should be a card uh given that he's brazilian given that he's Serie A, most of you guys are probably going to want to run him in your Serie A squads uh it should be a card that lasts you even like i said through team of the season i mean i'd be hard pressed to find a card that's going to come in there and replace alexander especially 91 rated is that the highest outside of an icon is that the highest rated wing back that we have so i am going to give it a four and a half out of five in terms of on the pitch performance uh i am going to give it a four out of five as well it has everything that you would want it has stamina it's not lacking in any particular category the only thing and again it, it, it's if we're getting a little bit cheeky it's it's wanting either a four star weak foot or a four star skill moves when he does decide to join the attack uh which is definitely something that this card can do but um, outside of that, boys, I would say a very, very good SBC, and uh, I give it the thumbs up, the Thanos thumbs up stamp of approval. The, uh, the, the Serie A finally gets the left back that we needed. We've been running with Kolarov, um, we've been running with uh, Gulam as a couple other uh, fill-ins right there. Um, but uh, just to have not had that dominant option. And then Serie A, like I said, with the addition of Kolarov as a midfielder and then uh, Sandro uh, Alexandro as a left back with this player moments card, Serie A instantly turns into a very, very, if it wasn't already, a very, very competitive league. One of my favorite leagues in FIFA. And uh, nice to see them getting some love. But that's going to do it for the episode. Your boys going to be streaming the rest of my weekend league games over on Mixer. If you guys did enjoy, drop a like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.